Hello and welcome to the demonstration of Cubuster Lite. Click on the Cubuster icon to launch the application. If you're using the application for the first time, please register your business before you proceed. In case your business account is already registered with Cubuster, you can skip the registration and login with your username and password. After successful login, you will enter the application's welcome page. In order to proceed, you will have to create a product first. Click on the Create New Product button to create your first product. For the demonstration purpose, let us create a test product for 100 rupees. Once the product is created, you will land on the application homepage. Let us build our product catalog first. Open the sidebar and click on Catalog. In the Catalog section you will find various options to manage, categories and subcategories, taxes, charges, brands, services, and combos. It is advisable that you create categories, brands, and taxes, before you start adding your products in the system. Though you can create these attributes later as well. But creating them before is really helpful. Let us quickly create one category. Go to Categories and click on the plus new icon on the top. Write the category name in the box and click Save. If you want to create a subcategory inside the category, click on the plus new icon on the top. Write the subcategory name in the box. And select this is a subcategory option. Select a parent category. Click save. And the subcategory will be created. Let us quickly create a brand now. Click on brands. And then click on plus new button on the top. Write the brand name in the box. And click save to create the brand. Let us now create a tax. Click on taxes. And click on the plus new button on the top. Write the name of the tax in the tax name box. Now write the value of tax in percentage in the box provided. Click save. And your tax will be created. Let us create another tax. Let us now create a product. Click on products and click on the plus new button on the top. You can add a photo to this product by clicking on the image icon here. You can take a photo of the product. Write the name of the product in the name box. Now select the category and the brand of the product. Select the measurement unit of the product from the drop down menu. Now enter the selling price of the product in the box provided. In case you want to enter the MRP and purchase price of the product, use this option below. For your information, your customer will be billed for the selling price, and not the MRP or the purchase price you will enter here. In case your selling price already includes taxes, select the checkbox price includes tax. If the taxes are applicable separately on top of the selling price, do not select this checkbox. Now select all the taxes which are applicable on this product. You can also create a new tax here itself, in case you don't find the applicable tax from the list below. If there are some additional charges applicable on this product, for example, packing and handling charges, use the charges section for the same. You cannot track inventory in Cubuster Lite subscription. Kindly upgrade to Cubuster Pro subscription for inventory management. 
you can also add additional information to your products, like size, color, barcode number, SKU number, HSN or SAC code, and description. Use the additional settings section to add all these details to your product. Once you complete the form, click the save button and your product will be successfully created. This is how you can build your entire catalog by following the same process for other products as well. In case you have a long list of products, you can use our web dashboard to upload items in bulk quantity using Excel sheets. Web dashboard is available at www.cubuster.co or you can simply contact Cubuster support team for any assistance. Once your cataloging is complete, you are ready to bill your customers. All your products will be visible on the application homepage under different categories. There are multiple ways to add products to the cart. You can use the search bar on the top to search your products. Simply tap on the searched item to add them to the cart. You can also click on the barcode icon to open the barcode scanner. Point the scanner towards the product's barcode and the item will be added to the cart automatically. In case you already know the category of your product, click on the category and find your product from the catalog. Tap on the icon to add it to the cart. To add more quantities, tap multiple times. If you want to clear your cart, click on the dustbin icon below. To proceed to the next screen, click on the blue cart button below. This is the cart summary screen. If you want to delete any item, click the dustbin button on the right side of every item. To increase or decrease the quantity of any item, click on it and change the quantity in the next screen. If you want to add any customer details to this order, click on this customer icon on the top right side. You can search and select your existing customers from the list below. Or you can add a new customer by clicking on the plus new button on the top. Fill this form to add a new customer in your database. To see the complete breakup of this order, click on order details below. You can also add discounts to this order. Click on Add Discount button below. To add a discount, click on plus new icon on the top and fill all the required details here. Let's give 10% discount on the selected product. Ten percent discount has been applied. To apply additional charges on this order, click on Charges button and select the requisite charges from the list. Once you're done with all these activities, click on the Pay button below to move to the payment screen. On this screen, you have multiple payment options to choose from. Let us take an example of cash payment. To settle this order in cash, select the Cash button. Here you can enter the amount of money given by the customer. If the value of cash given by the customer is higher than the cart amount, it will show you the remaining balance as well. Click on the Accept button below to proceed to the confirmation screen. If you want to add any remarks to this order, click on the Remarks button and write down the details. Click on the Confirm Payment button below to settle this order in cash. If you have a printer connected with your device right now, a print will come out automatically. Otherwise you can also send the invoice to the customer via SMS or email. Congratulations! Your first order is now complete. Click on the new sale button below to start billing your next customer. Well let us also demonstrate how to bill your customer using card payments. You must have a card swipe machine ready and linked with your Cubuster account at this point. If not done already, please contact your POS company representative or the Cubuster support team to link both accounts. If everything is done, let us proceed with order settlement using card payments. Once you build your cart and reach the payment selection screen, select card. From the list, the pause machine will now take you through the card settlement process managed by the pause company.
After successful transaction, the screen will reach the final confirmation page. You can add remarks to this order if needed. Click on Confirm Payment below to generate the invoice. Congratulations! You have successfully settled an order using card payments. Click on New Sale button to take your next order. Let us quickly go through some other sections in the sidebar. To see your orders, click on Orders icon in the sidebar. Click on All Orders to see complete list of orders. You can also select different dates from the calendar icon above. To filter your orders, click on the filter icon above and select your preferences. To see complete order details, click on any order. Here you will find all the details of this order including items list, taxes, charges, discounts and payment methods used. You can also cancel this order partially or completely and issue a refund accordingly. Let us move to the report section now. Click on reports icon in the sidebar. Here you will find various reports for your daily reference. To see detailed reports, log in to your web dashboard at www.cubuster.co. Lastly, let us move to the setup section. Click on setup in the sidebar and you will find various options to manage your account. You can find and edit your business details in the business profile section. To add new users or employees, visit the user section. You can also assign different roles and permissions to these users. To create discounts, visit the discount section and click on plus new button on the top. To create new measurement units like centimeters, millimeters etc. Click on the plus new button on the top. You can customize your print receipt format in the customize receipt section. To sync data between web dashboard and your device, use the sync section. Though syncing is an automatic process when the internet is available, so you don't need to do anything manually here. To manage different hardware options like printers, card payment terminals, and weighing machines, use this setting section. You can also tweak some general settings available here to manage your store better. You can create and manage system remarks using the remarks section. Use the license payment section to make payments for various Cubuster licenses linked with your business account. To update your application, visit the software update section. In case you have downloaded the application from Google Play Store, please visit the Play Store to update your app. Thank you for watching this video. In case you have any questions, please visit www.cubuster.co or call Cubuster helpline number at 9958818699. Thank you.